Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2018 Volvo XC60 again. Why? Because Ross really likes Volvos and electric hybrids. And why not? It is hard to make these large vehicles beautiful. Our horrible Canadian winters don't help, which I am hoping global warming will one day temper. XC60 looks terrific, no question, and I think its proportions are what makes it so beautiful. The Volvo designers must be given credit. A reminder, the T at the end of the XC60 means the type of engine, so therefore T5 is a four-cylinder turbo, T6 is a supercharged turbo, and T8 is a pluggable hybrid supercharged turbo four-cylinder. On the inside, from behind, lots of room and the trunk is well finished. The rear passengers actually get the first class treatment here with superb seats, good visibility, lots of room, a smooth ride, great temperature control and a lovely panoramic roof. It's the royal treatment here, five stars. In front, XC60 on the surface looks perfect. The minimalist design seduces the driver and the large infotainment screen looks great. Textures and materials are price appropriate throughout the cabin. The steering wheel is made of a nice leather and feels solid. The downside is a not quite German carved out of metal assembly. It doesn't feel quite as solid and a very distracting climate control system integrated in the infotainment. An idea that probably sounded good to a bunch of engineers having lunch together, except no one thought of the end user, the driver. The infotainment is definitely distracting and it takes the driver's eyes off the road. The suspension and driver inputs are set for comfort despite the high output of the engine. This pluggable hybrid drive is a performance monster. 400 horsepower and 472 pounds of torque, OMFG, but it weighs 2,700 kilograms according to Volvo Canada. No info on the Volvo website about charge time, range or fuel economy. That is a lot of information, Volvo Canada. It should be easy to get to. The internet says this T8 has 27 kilometers of electric only range with a 10.4 kilowatt hour battery, which is lacking a bit of range for the daily commute. XC60 comes with an eight speed automatic, all wheel drive, a 2.5 hour stage two charge at 240 volts and a seven hour charge with a stage one or regular wall outlet nine liters per 100 kilometers or 26 mpg combined when you run out of electricity here are my thoughts on the road hello car lovers driving the 2018 volvo xc60 this is with the t8 engine just make a few general remarks about this vehicle i i've, I've done a lot of volvo on my channel and i'm sure you may or may not have seen it i'll just go over a few headline facts at uh, this vehicle's sticker price in canadian dollars equipped as is is eighty seven thousand dollars so i think you uh really have to love the environment to buy this vehicle and that is fine if you do if you do love the environment you can pay for it compared to its rivals i think the main one is the audi q5 probably that's probably the big seller and i think this vehicle does have some formidable weapons to compete against it now i know a lot of suvs are very uh you know you have the sporty suv you have this the comfort suv suvs are not really sporty uh, I, I don't think when you're buying an suv you're expecting a sporty experience these vehicles usually weigh five thousand pounds so volvo has done what i think is the right thing is focus on comfort 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 and that's reflected in the suspension the suspension is very comfortable it's not molasses like it's not it's it's not out of control in terms of like looseness it's it's well built, it's well damped, but it is focused on comfort. And that is excellent. Uh, another thing that this vehicle is above average on is the exterior styling. Now, the Volvo lines are very pretty in sedan form. It's a good looking sedan, but I think it is especially good looking in SUV form. Uh, the flowing lines, uh, there's not too many cut lines. Uh, it, it doesn't look too, it doesn't look macho, but it, 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 it looks, it, it's unisex. It, it, Anyone can drive this Volvo and it looks so good, it will look good on anyone. Um, so that is awesome. Uh, also available in quite a few interesting colors. 
Now, the interior. Now, it is true this Volvo has very nice materials. Um, you, there's stitching here. The steering wheel leather is excellent. Um, the seats, I had made a comment in the past that the optional seats were good, but maybe not as great as everyone said. I think I'm taking that back now. I seem to have found a good adjustment and these optional seats are excellent. Um, Ross made the remark he always loved the Volvo seats. Another thing that I noticed driving this vehicle is the excellent rear three quarters visibility here. Um, I, I, it's one of the best in the category. What's not working about this interior? Well, this center screen looks good. Uh, when you look at it, it it's, it's well integrated, everything. But however, when you're driving every day, when you're adjusting climate control, you're taking your eyes off the road. And Volvo does brag that they are the safety company. It seems to me there should be more knobs for the things that people do often. I don't care if the knobs are here on the transmission tunnel next to the, next to the transmission shifter or below the screen, but there has to be more knobs because with your muscle memory, you can go touch those without taking your eyes off the road. However, when you are playing in this screen here, this infotainment screen, which once again is very beautiful, you're gonna take your eyes off the road, all right? You can't muscle memory it. So that's about it. Those are my thoughts on the Volvo XC60 T8. Um, I think it's a recommendable lease. Uh, I'm not sure Volvo has made a reputation for its long-term reliability. Not many of its rivals have, by the way. So definitely an excellent four-year lease. Ross too really likes his vehicle. I think Ross likes it even a bit more than I do. He, he talks to me about Volvo in glowing terms and why not? If you like this video, you can like it. If you don't like it, don't like it. And if you really like it, you can subscribe, duh. And sometimes what I'm gonna do is if I find like uh, good questions, uh, either people sending me an email or in, in the comments. Uh, what I'll do is next show, I'm gonna try to answer one question with Ross. And it's gonna be, it's a nice, uh, you know, like I wanna buy this car, which do you recommend? Do you have any other suggestions? That type of thing. I think that's gonna be fun for viewers. And that is it.